Welcome to a new program from Service TV. Our topic today is the new 3-litre V6 TDI, the Evo engine. Our topics will be the new chain connection on the cylinder head, the connection from the intake manifold to the cylinder head, the new oil pump control system and, of course, the cooling system for the new V6 TDI. To provide more space for the diesel particulate filter and the oxidizing catalytic converter, the turbocharger has been moved further to the right. This means that on the new V6 TDI, the EA897, the design of the chain drive has been changed and it has been moved down towards the cylinder block. To make this easier to see, we will remove the side cover of the camshaft housing. So you can already see the new chain drive here, the connection to the cylinder head. On the previous version, shown here in blue, we can see that the camshaft is bigger than on the current model, as shown here in red. As on the previous version, the complete chain drive is located under the chain housing cover. However, in contrast to the previous version, the new system is made up as follows. Here, you can see the chain drive to drive the balance shaft. This is exactly the same as on the other engine. The only thing that is new is the connection to the cylinder head. As we've said, we need more space up here for the oxidizing catalytic converter and the diesel particulate filter. That is why everything has moved down, and that is why this drive is now smaller, although it still has a 2 to 1 ratio, as before. Previously, the auxiliary drive for the oil and vacuum pumps was integrated back here in the chain track for the high-pressure pump. To reduce the dynamic stresses on the chain drive to the high-pressure pump, the auxiliary drive has now been moved to the front side of the crankshaft. The vibration damper is now fixed to the crankshaft using hearth serrations. To see the oil pump drive better, we will remove the attachments. The auxiliary drive now looks like this. Its drive runs from the front side of the crankshaft. The oil pump has now been refined from a two-stage control system to a continuous control system. The background for this is that the piston injectors are switched off when cold. This means that the oil pressure can be reduced to a figure lower than the opening pressure of the oil spray jets, approximately 1.2 bar. For the purpose of saving weight, more and more components are now produced from plastic. Previously, the connection from the intake manifold to the cylinder head was cast on. Now it is a screwed-on piece made from plastic, which, alongside other structural optimizations, saves around 2.5 kilos in weight. There are also new components being used in the cooling system. One special feature is the new thermostat. It has been changed from a disc thermostat to a ball thermostat. This is the location of the ball-shaped valve base in the thermostat housing. The advantage of the ball thermostat is that the coolant can now flow without any barriers and there are no obstructions. As a result of this design, the pressure loss in the coolant circuit is considerably reduced. In addition, the ball valve in the transition from the cylinder block to the cylinder head has been changed into a vacuum-controlled rotary slide valve. Now you have seen the new V6 TDI. In particular, the connection of the chain drive to the cylinder, the connection of the intake manifold to the cylinder head, the new oil pump control system, old and new, and of course, the new cooling system as well. <laughs> 